What is up guys, pb 43 yt back here with another video and today I got a Mata Mobile 20 video, it's my first ever Mata Mobile 20 video So guys, I know most of you are sub for NBLI Mobile But this is not me saying I'm gonna quit NBLI Mobile in any way, shape, or form So before you dislike, before you comment, before you start Yo, and everyone, oh, PBC gonna quit MBLI Mobile. No, I'm not quitting MBLI Mobile, okay? I just want to upload something different because I like this game a lot more than MBLI Mobile right now, and it's a lot better of a game, but I'm still gonna upload MBLI Mobile because that's what I kind of have to do. But I'm not quitting MBLI Mobile, I just want to upload a little bit of Madden Mobile. I'm not gonna upload Madden Mobile every single day. I'm gonna upload it maybe once or twice a week and stream it too. I streamed three hours yesterday, so hopefully you guys turn on those noties and subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm sure some of you guys are new because some of you guys are from the Mobile community and watching this video. So welcome to the channel, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Make sure to drop a sub and a like if you guys like Madam Mobile, and I'll be uploading that a lot more often. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. Let me help my boy out real quick. Let's get into the video on how to get tons of gems. Now the first thing you're gonna want to do is you want to go to programs. You're gonna want to go to Team Mystery. All right, I know got most of you guys probably know about this. All right. And, um, but it's super, super easy because the thing is, so let's go pick a team. Let's go pick the Colts real quick. I've already done five maps. Um, so here's the Colts. And if you want to go the route to where you get most, the most gems, you're going to have to spend 150 stamina on this campaign, whatever you want to call it, this map. And then on the last one, after you spend 150 stamina, you get 100 stamina back and 100 gems. So you're pretty much spending... 50 stamina for 100 gems, but then if you go this one, you get 50 gems. If you go to this live event, you get 50 gems, and those are 30 stamina each. But if you just want to spend 120 stamina, you can get 150 gems, but if you want to spend 150 stamina, you can get uh, uh, 200 gems. But you're only spending uh, 50 stamina if you go the more um, the more expensive route with stamina because you're going to get 100 stamina back. But if you go the cheap route where you, where you want 150 gems, you get, you're only, you're only spending 30, no, 20 stamina. So it's a really good way to save stamina and get lots and lots of gems. And also, if you complete five maps, then you get 100 gems. If you complete 20 maps, you get 250 gems. If you complete every single team map, you get 500 gems. Awesome way to make tons of gems. You can get around 3,000 to 4,000 gems just by completing every single map. And you get one key every day. So you spend 50 stamina every day to get around uh, 200 gems. So it's really nice and easy. I like that a lot. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Master Series. Most of you guys probably know about this too. But uh, I just completed the Juju. And with the Juju, uh, I can't go on it anymore. But with the Juju, you have 10 stages. And you guys, as most of you guys probably know, each stage has a treasure chest. Some stages have even more than one treasure chest. And in those treasure chests, you get around 10 different items to choose. And you can select three of them. Those items are coins, gems, whistles, captain patches there's a lot of them and the, the two the three main options you're going to want to pick is 10,000 coins 100 gems and 50 gems you can get 10,000 coins and 150 gems from every single chest and you have 10 stages and there's more than one chest in some of the stages you can get around 2,000 gems just from doing the juju event and the in this training camp right here you get some chests too i'm not really doing this training camp but you still get some chests and you still get some gems and some coins so it's a really nice easy way to get gems but the thing about this one is that this is a lot of stamina very stamina heavy um so if you want to go the easier route you can go with the uh, with the team history but you can also do this when you in your spare time when you uh, have nothing to do with your stamina so you can go ahead and do that and sorry about that you can also get an 80 overall juju smith schuster and you can also get some more gold cards let me show you let me help my boy out again let me show you guys real quick what i did so go to master series you get tons of tokens and it's a super nice way to be able to get tons of these so let me go throw my locker into this and then we're going to claim this pack and what you get out of this pack you don't get any gems out of it but you get some collectibles and with these collectibles you get um to open up some players you get some silver players too and some coins too so it's really nice and what i did oh there's a kamara oh i didn't know there's a kamara okay um but what you can do is that I completed right here the Juju Master Series. I completed the 75 Keenan now, and I pretty much had to throw in a bunch of different collectibles. Um, so yeah, and then right here, I'm going for this uh, Brandon Carr, and I'm actually really close. I just need to throw in a bunch of Hail Mary badges, a bunch of Overdrive badges. You get the Overdrive badges from beating all the Overdrive matches. And this is an aerial badge, and then some regular drill badges. And as you guys can see, I'm really close to getting the 74 um, branded car. And if you also want to go over here, you can throw on all the players and get 82 overall juju. But that's just that's just coming from what you can do by grinding up for gems. So that's a really nice way to get more gems. The next way 
is you're going to play some overdrive. I know you guys are sick of overdrive, especially after last year, but this is such a good way, and you need to take advantage of this. You need, there's no excuses, you need to take advantage of this. There's no stamina that needs to be costed. It's such a good way to get so many gems. Let me show you guys. So once you get out of the bronze tier, you get 150 gems and 75 stamina, then you get 300 gems for the silver and 150 stamina, and the gold one that I'm at, you get 500 gems and 250 stamina. So pretty much, I was just in gold 3, and once I got to gold 2, I got 400 gems. And then once I get out of this, um, once I get out of this tier, once I get into gold 1, I'll get 500 gems, as it just keeps going up, as you guys can see. And then you get a 1500, 1200, as you guys can see. And then if you get in the Hall of Fame and you get in the top 10,000, you get 100 gems and head to head tokens, which is super helpful, which can turn into elites. And I'm actually like 20 out of 25 head to head tokens and for another elite player. And that will be another video for another day. But this, for 2500, you get 250 gems and a top 1000, 500, top 500, 1000, top 100, 2000 gems. Super, super, super easy way. And actually, I'm going to try to get the top 1,000 this year, or this season, because I want to get the 50 head-to-head -head badges. That's another really easy way to get lots and lots and lots of gems. The next way is to do Arena, alright? So what you can do with Arena is you just score a bunch of points. So you just literally do head-to-head, -head, you have three drives, you got to see how many points you can score out of three drives. Of course, the highest you can score is 24, and then your opponent plays you live, and um, they see how many points they can score against you, and whoever wins gets to move on. Um, but either even if you lose you still get counted you still your points still count So say you get 22 points, but your opponent gets 24 You're still gonna get the 22 points counted into your scale um, And once you get past um, each of your goal for the points you get a you get gems you get head to head, -to -head tokens in a pack and uh, Each time you up every each time you move up into rounds you get plus 10 gems And it's super super good because if you complete this whole thing you get around 3,000 gems and you get a bunch of tokens and you get a bunch of players so it's really really worth it and you only have to score 925 points which is really not that bad all right so that's another really easy way then the last and final way that i've at least figured out how to get lots of gems is um you got to go to the sets and what you're going to want to do go to core and then you're going to complete these little players and so it's really easy you just kind of like like uh the way that i've been doing these is what i do is i go through the team history map and through each live event like each um uh, event you complete in the team history you get like a, a silver player and then the final one is a gold plus player so you can like get these players along the road and it makes it so much easier because you can just get the players that you get from the pack throw them into the set get the 72 overall player sell them for a couple of coins and get 100 gems and you can do that with all these players so it's super 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 good um but yeah that's gonna wrap up for this video if this video was helpful to you guys did enjoy make sure that like button if you want some more madden mobile videos i'm definitely open to it and i definitely will want to open up some more so make sure to let me know down in the comments i love doing this so let me know i actually nearly need three more tokens and i'll probably gonna get that today and record it today but upload it later so until then i will see you guys in the next one pb43 out